right, cool. So, um, oh, hi, I'm, I'm Max, this is Josh, Clint, and Trace, and our senior project was, we did football science, obviously. But, um, well, first of all, we wanted to do something that would have kind of a lasting impact. Uh, we wanted to have something last that would be uh, someone, something that we could come back to and say, hey, we did this. So uh, we looked around, and we looked at the football stadium, and we were like, wow, there's really nothing there that says, hey, this is Mount Pleasant's football stadium. And uh, so what we did is we were going to create the Mount Pleasant and Sigurd Hard logos, and we're going to put them on the concession stands. And we thought that would add a lot to the stadium and help people just identify with the stadium and bring more school pride, hopefully. So I'm going to turn it over to Josh and he's going to explain. So pretty much, imagine this as a concession stand. It's kind of a weird drawing. But um, there's a blue part right here. There's a blue part on the concession stand above where you would get your stuff. These are the counters right here. Um, so pretty much what we're doing is we're going to get metal signs made of Mount Pleasant and Sacred Hearts. They're going to be about three feet tall and about three feet wide. And we're going to put them above on this blue part right here. <coughs> and they're going to be bolted in, and they should last for a very long time. And um, really, we didn't want to like talk a whole lot about it, because there's not a whole lot to talk about. So we had a video made of what we really were going on with this. We wanted to know about school pride, and what people thought really about this kind of project, this kind of image and things for our school. So we have a video that's about 15 minutes long, basically that sums up what this whole project's really about. Are we going to do stickers or are we going to do metal? And then uh, 
once you figure out that we could do metal, we're like, yeah, we want to jack, we want to, we want this to last, we want this to last so well. Uh, then we went out, measured the uh, concessions, you know, figured out what we need to do for that. Went to and part of the companies to help us make the logos. Well, first of all, we had to figure out who can do the project for it. We went to the tech center and they kind of do that. The cable was too small for the metal to cut it out. So now we're going to Alaro Steel, and hopefully they'll be able to do this, and we're working with them as we speak. I thought of the idea. Uh, I was the only one to progress it to what it is now. We've all been doing different things, um, but I've been doing a lot of research for the project, like right? looking up things on the internet of what we need, help find the company that we are going through to help when we're outsourcing the project. I helped proofread some of the papers that we've had to do. I've helped send emails to different companies. I'm more of just like a supervisor and trying to get things done. I've been emailing Alos Steel. I've been out measuring the concession stand, but down the graphics. Well, I did the research plan, most of it, plan on with that. I helped Chase a lot with the research plan because he kind of makes a lot of mistakes on there. I went up on top of the concession stand with uh, Josh. I did the annotated bibliography. I contacted the AD for uh, Taker Hart. I uh, helped with the uh, flow chart. I think our, our biggest strength is that we all want to see this succeed. When we come back for homecoming or just like 10 years down the road, if we have like a reunion or something, we all want to come and see something that we did. The strength is that it would help our community a lot, I think. That's my personal opinion, that the people will be like, oh, they're putting new stuff on the field, so they're going to want to go back as a group. It's going to help, I think, our lower class going to think about doing more things to the field. So in about 10 years from now, our thing will still be like, in the project, plus it might be even more things. To strength, I think everyone will love it, and it'll look, it'll look good. Ten years from now, you'll be able to come in and see it. The strengths, it'll definitely have a lasting impact on the community. Hopefully, bring some uh, enthusiasm to the state. Some of our weaknesses are uh, we, we sometimes don't all see eye to eye with this project. Um, at first, some people in the group just didn't want to put it on the concession stand because it was going to take a lot of work to get it on there, and they wanted to see it somewhere else, but. In the long run, we all kind of came together, and I think that was our biggest weakness, is trying to figure out what we were going to do with the project itself. Weaknesses, I think we're having problems with communication between between the uh, companies and the Sega Heart and stuff like that, so that's definitely a weakness. Uh, weaknesses, this takes forever, that's working with so many people. And the weaknesses are probably basically the context of because Battle of Steel obviously needs a lot of detail from us that we can't get just like that. So. We weren't sure if we were going to do the metal for the stickers, and then once we figured out that we could do the metal, we stuck with that. We don't necessarily care now if it goes on the concession stand, we just really want to get the logo made, and if they decide they could have a fail better place for it, that's fine. I think the biggest change um, in the entire project was uh, we cut rockets out of the deal. Um, we originally had the idea of doing a Mount Pleasant logo, a Sacred Heart logo, and then a Rockets logo. Hearing from Mr. Mack and uh, Mr. Conway, they're thinking about within the next few years getting a turf field. And um, if they don't get the turf field, they possibly are going to have rockets relocate to a different field. They didn't want uh, a rocket sign up on on the uh, concession stand just just so that we didn't have to spend more money so the biggest change was probably taking out the rockets logo because after we took out the rockets logo we noticed that we could probably keep steel steel now yeah definitely hopefully it'll you know stay around for 10 years or something or maybe even more and then it'll uh it'll help people recognize the stadium as not pleasant I hope so. I, I hope to come back 10 years down the road and see those logos there, but Mount Pleasant Memorial Stadium. Yeah, that's what we are taking a look at last year. Get back to the area. Because
they, they realized that a couple of students that spent a lot of time um, playing sports in the community, um, put the time and effort into actually putting this together <coughs> and getting it out there. I think it, it could make a lasting impact on the community. I think people will enjoy um, looking at the signs if, uh, if, they, if they see it and it gives them a sense of pride. It's basically our mission is accomplished. It'll just, you know, it brands the stadium. It says, hey, this is Mount Pleasant Stadium. This is Sacred Heart. This is Mount Pleasant. They, they play here. Yes, I think it will get the same more school track because they'll go to the game and they'll get a lot of school. But, you know, after the first glance, they got a lot of it, but it'll still affect, like, who we are. I think it has the, the possibility to get more people to school pride. Um, like, our school has a lot of pride in itself, um, just that how well we do with sports and how well we do with all of our activities and things. When you're out on the field and there's a football game or there's something going on out there, there's nothing really that you can find and look at that can give you a source of pride. So, with these signs, I feel like this could possibly give our our students and our community more pride. Yeah, I think it's give you know, us a lot more school pride. Like I said, it would probably make people more confident about doing more projects on the football field.
and uh, and that can help. I think having some school prize um, can get students to class. Some people have too much. Uh, <laughs> Biggest factor so far for us. Thank you.